Hello, it's Thursday with our live. Hope everybody's doing good. Just gonna get set up here on the laptop and uh, we will get started. Hello, thanks for jumping in. There we go. All right. How are you guys? Just had to get this situated here. Hello, hello. Glad to see you guys on. Have some fun things planned. Hi, Deborah, Nancy. I think I see Lynn. Um, I, um, gosh, I was like getting things done right at the last minute. We're having our deck power washed and start tomorrow so that it can get stained because I guess you have to let it go for you know, you have to let it cure before you can stain it. So anyway, we had it put in last summer and it's time to get it um, stained. So anyway, I was busy. I had to, today's my late day at work. Go figure. And um, so I had to help with getting that stuff because of course Bill can't do some things. Plus my grandson's coming over to help out. So with all that, I uh, was trying to get everything done before you guys jumped on. So I know there's a few of you still coming on um, that I had heard from. Um, so I know some of you took advantage of the um, sale yesterday. And um, I got a couple sets. I had a lot of them. I showed a lot of them in the videos. So if you go back and um, if you go back to Facebook, I did one. If you go to my channel on YouTube, which is Barb Ryder, just look up Barb Ryder and you'll see uh, a couple things there. So um, several things I want to share. Hey, Donna, glad you guys are on. And Taryn, I see. I'm not sure. I think I, I don't know. I, it's hard to tell. I can see little pictures on the screen here. Um, but I can't, uh, I can't always tell who is who in those little teeny circle pictures. So, um, I have a few things uh, to talk about. One of them is all the classes I have coming up for October. Um, and I, uh, let's see, the biggest one is RSVP today is the last day that you can RSVP for the, um, pumpkin fall class on Saturday at Brood Awakenings. <clears throat> and uh, you, it's um, $20. I got it in my notes here so I don't forget. But it's $20 or it's free with a $30 order. It's at 10 o'clock. And um, we will, uh, should have plenty of space. Um, there, I've been there a couple of times and there's not too many people inside. We're, I think it's still supposed to be a nice day Saturday, um, but we will be inside and, um, you know, you are required to have a mask. Uh, you can wear it the whole time, but because they do serve food, it's a restaurant, um, you can take your mask off um, when you're at the table, you know, with food or beverage. So uh, that will be, it's just like a restaurant. So there's that. Um, but I got to know tonight because I'm going to finish, uh, start finishing up with my kits for Saturday. So make sure you let me know. We've got eight cards that I think are so nice. I think I, excuse me, shared them a little bit. Um, so there's that. The other thing is October 3rd. Oh, I see, uh, Colleen jumped on. Hello. And, um, yeah, I, I wanted more too. Hey, Jackie, thanks for jumping in. Um, Donna mentioned that she wanted more of the stamps, <laughs> but, um, I, I actually got, I think I got the ones that I really wanted, but that was a great deal. Especially if you're a demonstrator, you will also get your discount. And, um, yesterday was an, um, it was a great deal yesterday. If you wanted, if there were stamp sets in there that you liked and you wanted to sign up as a demonstrator, when I say sign up as a demonstrator, you don't you can be a hobbyist and come and enjoy the classes that I do at a discount. You can um you can also come to the meetings where we do fun projects. Um we have swaps, all kinds of things. So 
Anyway, with all that said, you would have gotten 15% off all of the stamps that you purchased, plus you would have got two free stamps, plus rhinestones, um, $125 in product for $99 plus tax. So maybe you already heard about that, but I did want to share that. I'd love to have you on my team. Uh, there's always different times when there's specials going on, so I hope that uh, you keep that in mind if you ever decide you want to get a discount on your stamps. And I know a lot of you guys are demonstrators on here already. So um, if you're not and you're interested, please let me know how I can help. Um, we, we do have a fun time, even virtually. We're doing virtual uh, meetings and we have in person. So it's up to you. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to share with you? Basically, if you just go right over to um, Stamp with Barb, you'll see all the events. I'm going to make sure that they're also on Stamp with Barb Writer. I've, I, it's confusing to me, but one is more of a public page and one is more of my the business. One is the public group, put it that way. Barb Writer is the public group. And then Stamp with Barb is my business page where I have to do the videos in order to be able to share them. So I hate talking, 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 but I do want to share one more thing. I'm, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm adding another class, a club class for October, and it is with the um, tree, um, tree, tree triangles. I think is what it's called. Anyway, I want to show you some of the samples I've done. Um, it's go it's great you guys okay uh maybe i'll wait and show you when you're turned down because then they'll be the right way this way they're not gonna they're gonna be backwards so i'll wait to do that so uh with all of that i think it's um time to turn you down i do have to move the camera or the yeah the camera so um if you don't like the motion motion uh hang tight for a second i am going to um Put you so that you're facing down and you can see the project so hold on one second sorry you see my hand 25 times here all right let me get you in the other holder here make sure that it won't fall out on me there we go all right i think that's i think i got it my hand hit it earlier, so I didn't know if it was going to affect anything or not. Okay, so I've got a couple projects for you here, and I hope that you guys will enjoy them. I'm, I told you before that, you know, fall is my favorite time of the year, and <clears throat> so I can't help but not do these fall cards. Um, while I still have a little bit of time in September. So, and uh, anyway, they're gorgeous. And I want you to see how you can use a, a stamp set that is not just fall for a fall card. You can make it uh, for all different things. So the first one that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to um, do Paper Pumpkin. And uh, if you are a subscriber of Paper Pumpkin, um, this month... They did these little, um, what are they called? Cracker, I, I don't know what they're called. They're, um, anyway, there's the, the box, the paper pumpkin box. Let me get the sheet out here. I don't know what they're called, but they're these little cracker things. If you haven't already looked at them, or if I don't know if you even subscribe, but some of them can be for um, you can they have a, a set stamp set in every paper pumpkin, and you can um, do uh, Halloween or fall. So I don't know. I'm gonna wait till I can see in the screen to see how well you can see that um, stamp set. I think if I do that, I don't know if you can still. Anyway. The glare. I'm sorry. That's what I was trying to get out. Stop from glaring on you guys. But anyway, this is the stamp set. So we, I have a, a couple little cards with this for fall. And again, um, right now I don't. The this is the kit that already came. So it always um, you have until the tenth of the month to get the kit. Sign up for the kit. You can always um, stop it or cancel at any time. But it's twenty two dollars a month. Um, I will tell you this, that I will be having a class. So for next month, 
joy to the world. And because they um, have, we have, uh, the company is already in different countries. I think that they, that that's, this has something to do with the different um, countries along with Christmas. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this is um, about, but you will be getting, uh, it includes supplies for eight elegant holiday cards and is perfect for connecting with people you love during this festive time. That's what it says. But so you have to sign up between September 11th and October 10th. Um, but I am going to be having a class because I did uh, get a couple extra. So I'm going to include some of this in, um, um, I'm going to include this in uh, my Christmas card classes that I'll have for November also. Okay. So just want to share that, but I'm going to show a couple of things. You guys, I've mentioned, I, I don't really do Halloween and, but there is some things in here we can do that are not Halloween. And so that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. So I'm going to show you, um, let's see here. So you get all kinds of stuff in this kit. All right. Sorry for my arms are in the way. And where is this thing at? Oh my goodness. There, there's too much. But anyway, you get cats and hats and flowers and swirly things and lacy things and pumpkins. And, um, I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here. Now, Donna just mentioned, um, she won't use those candy wrapper things. Okay. That's what I'm going to show you. That's what she's talking about. This, this is what they, that comes in here. And it's like this candy, you put candy in, you make this into a, like a little box. I'm not going to do it that way because I'm going to use these for something else. So, and you also get a uh, Cajun craze, but you've got this side or this side. All right. So what I've done is I've taken those and I have created cards. So you have to have a little bit of card stack to go with it. Um, but I'm going to show you what you can do. Okay. So what I've done is I have taken that cra uh, candy wrapper thing and I've cut it up. I've cut the sides off. I don't know where it's at. I've already pre-done it. Well, anyway, cut the sides off and I've got five little pieces here that I'm going to use. I've got one of the little strips, the pumpkins and some of the flowers. I'm going to use, um, uh, crumb cake. That is what I'm going to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I am going to use, um, hello pumpkin on this one. Put this on my block here. Actually, I'm going to do this so I can get it a little straighter. Okay. Um, will that fit? Yeah, I guess so. I might have to, oh, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so Cajun Craze is the ink spot that comes in the little kit. And this is the only, the, the um, the words I'm going to do is hello pumpkin. And again, whenever it's really small like this, or if the stamp is bigger than your ink spot, you'll want to take your spot to your stamp. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to stamp that on this little guy right here. And, uh, I think I'm going to have to get up here a little closer, see if I can get this centered and do it straight. Let's hope for the best. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll take it. So hello pumpkin. And we're going to, that's the only stamping I'm going to do there. Um, on the inside though, I am going to stamp the pumpkin. I got to use my big, uh, I'll use this one. I'll take one of these off for right now. I've been working on classes, so I've got some of my, um, <laughs> I'm brave. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it, it makes me feel brave. <laughs> uh, and uh, sometimes I don't do that well. So, <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to just ink up this pumpkin. It's a nice little pumpkin. It would be great um, doing using the blends too. But I'm going to stamp inside my card right here. Okay, with the, the um, Cajun Craze. And um, let's see, I thought I had a blender pen here. I do. No, that's not it. I'm just looking for a blender pen. Yeah, here we go. So blender pens, these are great to um, make sure it's clear. If you just take a blender pen and look at that, 
and I'm just running it on the lines of the pumpkin and you can color the pumpkin in really easily. Okay. I think I'll just uh, do the pumpkin part and leave the others solid. But, and then when you're done, you just take this and you run it sideways and then you can get the, um, the ink off of the blender pen. Okay. So that's on the inside of the card. And then let's just put this together. So I have five pieces and uh, so I'm going to start, I haven't really measured it out to get it exactly right, but here's what we're going to do. We're just going to eyeball it. I'm okay with not being perfect, perfect. <laughs> apple butter. Oh my goodness, Linda. You're making apple butter. Well then, you know what? That's cool because we're doing fall cards. And so it'll just keep you right in the mood to make that apple butter. That's so cool. I love apple butter, actually. We usually ask for it if we go to Cracker Barrel. Barrel, um, We always ask for the for ap uh, apple butter to go with our biscuits, our butter and biscuits, you know? So good. All right, let's see. Get these five pieces in here. And I got one more. So this is pretty simple, actually. You just have to cut that wrapper piece apart so that, I hope I'm straight here, keeping pretty straight. It's not too bad. Looks like it might be angled a tad. That's okay. All right, so I am going to use dimensionals and pop up this pumpkin. And uh, again, these are already pre-done. And uh, just use them however you'd like. I think I'm going to put one up here on the uh, the little small dimensionals up here at the top. So take the coverings off. Come on here. So this is a pretty simple card, but it's nice. It's nice. So we are going to just kind of, uh, let's do this. We're going to do that. We're going to... Um, Take one of the small dimensionals and put it on one of the uh, yellow flowers. There's different color flowers. I think there's orange and there's also, I think there's brown. Yeah, there's yellow brown or I guess the color is probably a soft suede or cinnamon cider. I didn't look. But this little flower is going to go right here. Okay. And then um, this one I'm actually going to do flat. So put a little adhesive on there. That one's going to be flat, and it's going to go right down here. Okay. Then these little di mini dimensionals are awesome for these skinny pieces. All right. So, Linda, I'm thinking about you saying that you're making that apple butter. And uh, it's making me hungry because I didn't have dinner before I did this. Usually I don't eat before I come and do my live because I have so much stuff to do for my lives. <laughs> I feel like I'm so busy, but anyway, there we go. There is that. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to add some gems and in my little stash of stuff, I have the champagne rhinestones somewhere, and that will go perfect in here. Here we are. Here's the champagne rhinestones. I have a couple of those left here. So I'm going to just take the little ones and uh, pop those actually right in my flowers. Okay, and then of course we're going to take the larger one and I think I'm going to put one over here just to add a little something something. Maybe we should add another one. I know you're supposed to do them in odd numbers, but. So Linda, you said it'll be ready tomorrow. Where can I come get some? <laughs> I do have to work though. There we go. So I'll be working all day. And then, of course, I'll be working on kits for tomorrow night for the, all the people coming to the class. I'm so excited to, to have people coming and stamping in person. I can't tell you how excited that makes me. 
All right, that's it for the card. So there is one card done. There we are. I am a little crooked on that. But it's handmade, you guys, right? How you like that? You like that one? All right. There's one. Now, I do have another one I want to do with this, um, this kit, okay? And uh, this is the Mango Melody. And I have pre-punched out um, a couple circles with the circle dies. And then we're going to use the pumpkins again. And we are going to uh, stamp Give Thanks on this one for like a Thanksgiving card. And uh, let me grab that Give Thanks. And going to be brave again, Lynn. Okay, we're going to stick with the Cajun Craze because that's what comes in the kit. Now, of course, you can use whatever colors you might already have. Hey, thanks for the love, guys. I love when you give the hearts. I love it more when you share the video so that more people can find out about me and what I do. Give thanks right there. Let's see how I did. Oh, I did it. Oh, it's pressure, you know, you know, that's pressure, guys. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I think we are going to actually, you know, something else that's on this, um, these, these stamps, there are some leaves. There's two leaves and there's a flower and then there's some pumpkin faces. I'm not going to do the pumpkin faces. But I am going to take these um, these leaves and I'm going to make it like a background stamp um, with the leaves. Nope, I got to turn it the opposite way so they look like they're falling together or something. Um, and I think I'm going to add the flower in there too. Okay. But um, what I'm going to do is actually, I am going to get my Mango Melody stamp pad and use that on the inside of the card so we're going to ink that up all three and we are just going to stamp those let's see let's do that let's stamp it there just to give a little something on there all right that was the mango okay um clean that pumpkin and clean the mango there and then we're going to put this together All right, so what I'm going to do here, I've got the Cajun Craze as the extra card stock for the card. And uh, this is just uh, an eighth of an inch bigger. So I just have a little bit on the edges, around the edges. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this over here so I can show you. So you get these sheets in here and there's all these leaves. And so I'm going to use the leaves. And the best way to do that is to use my glue dots. We're going to use glue dots. And I'm going to turn them over so I can see them. Got them all flipped over here so I can see the colors that I want. Oh. Yeah, I think you can see that. All right, pull those down. I might have to pop some more out, but anyway, I got it there. So what I want to do is I just want this to look like falling leaves, like they're falling from a tree, okay? So we got three, four different colors here. So it makes it super easy um, with these leaves when you... Um, use the glue dots so let's see here like that one's falling I think I need I should have put that one I'm gonna see if I can pop it up 
without ruining my card. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted, like that. And then we need to go with yellow. Go sideways. Uh, green. Anyway, I was excited when I saw the leaves. I didn't know, um, you know, what exactly would be in the, the kit. Um, but they did tell us it would be Halloween and um, fall. So I was happy about that. And uh, let's see here. Let's go in with this color. Because like I said, I don't particularly do the... Halloween, but okay, we're getting it. We're getting it here. So let's do that one where it's coming off there. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to do one more up here at the top. Let's do this yellow one. But there's so many on here that's just really, it works. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Let me see how that fits on here. Okay. All right. I want to be over um, this way. This way? This way. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Got that. Oh, Barb. There we go. Okay. Got these leaves over here. Make sure I'm not going off of the card. See if I can get this one straight. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I got that. Next thing I'm going to do is my white is going to go onto the uh, mossy meadow. That's the color of the leaves that we have. Okay, um, and this, see, I'm going to cover that up a little bit. That's okay. Maybe we'll just do that. Maybe we'll go over here. And I, I got something in mind. Okay, so where's my um, dimensionals? We're going to pop this up with dimensionals. Okay. So, Donna, if you are... Oh, you're still here. Good. So, see, this is what you can do without using that. Using the candy wrappers like candy wrappers. How's that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this guy here. And I think I need another leaf over on the side here. So I had one more popped out. How about that? It worked out, didn't it? There we go. Just like that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop these guys up and uh, onto my circle. And we have a nice little... Thanksgiving card. I don't know if it's really super Thanksgiving, but you could um, be a thankful card at this time of the season, right? Okay, and this little pumpkin is going to go right here. Need him up a little bit. And then give thanks. Actually... I came up too high on my, pump, on my pumpkin here, but that's okay. We're going to fix it. There's no mistakes in stamping, girls, right? I have something in mind. I <laughs> did not think of doing that. Hey, I have to look at some other people and talk to some other demonstrators and get some inspiration. So... Okay, so there's that. I think what I'm going to do is I need, um, I'm going to grab another leaf here. I'm going to grab one of these long leaves. Oh, gracious, Barb. I got this guy on sideways. A little. There we go. That's better. Oh, my word. That was not good. What I had, I had, I had it really crooked. Okay, this little leaf is going to come down here. And, uh, nope. 
kind of like that. And then you also get twine and you get all the dimensionals and everything. And so when you get the paper pumpkin, if you've never had, had them before, it's worth a try, at least to try it and see what you think. Um, and usually you will, you know, find out some information of what's what, uh, as you know, it gets closer. Um, but, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a little, um, bow with the white twine, um, and, uh, put that on right here where I've got some space. So see how easy I can make a, a bow. You're right, Nancy. No mistakes. We got to we just have to, it gives us more uh, opportunity for embellishments and uh, fun stuff, right? <laughs> okay, got that done. Cut that off a little bit. I need a dimensional, and then this card is done. Okay. Apples to pot all night now. Oh, wow, you simmer them all night. That's pretty cool. There we are. Okay, a little busy, but that's okay. I think it's good. I think it's good. Well, anyway, there you go. Just wanted to do something with, uh, besides Halloween and, and uh, candy boxes, um, with the paper pumpkin. So there's that. And what did I do with the other one? It's over here. So I'm going to lay these here for a second while I, which one do you like? Tell me which one you like, the Hello Pumpkin or Give Thanks. Let's see which ones you like. Appreciate the likes. I love it, love it. Um, I just have to clean up my little station here for a second so we can go on to the next project because I have lots of stamps with the um, Forever Fern. We're going to be doing uh, using that stamp set next. And... I'm going to need space for my stamps, so I just need to uh, get this out of the way. All right. Get my Cajun craze up there. I won't need the mango. I don't know. I might need these gems. I might have to keep them over here for a second. Okay. All right. Here we go. So there's your cards. Hello, pumpkin. Oh, look. Two for Hello, pumpkin. Hey, Kim. Thanks for joining, dear. Hope you're doing good. All right. So the next one I have is, like I said, we're going to use Forever Fern. This is the Forever Fern stamp set. I can't tell. There we go. And then I also am going to um, use Peaceful Moments. I'm going to use these two uh, stamps together. Um, so... What I've done is I have actually um, cut just some uh, thick whisper white, and then I have a piece of crumb cake, and then another piece of white. Okay. Now I am going to use the saying "Life is better with a friend like you." Uh oh, what happened? Sorry, guys. I think. So sorry about that. <laughs> You're looking at the ceiling. I didn't realize that it had hit and switched you around. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> I got you switched switch back around. Okay. <laughs> Woo, that was fun, right? <laughs> oh, it's always an adventure. Okay. So what I've got is the, I have just uh, the thick whisper white and crumb cake and then another piece of whisper white. I'm using life is better with a friend like you. So I'm going to ink that up in crumb cake. That's the color I'm going to use. And I am going to stamp it first to see. Okay, there we go. So, all right. And I want that about right here on the bottom. Beautiful. No lines. Yay. All right. Now, if you don't have the set Forever Fern, this is um, one of the distinctive sets. And so it makes it look realistic. Uh, I'm going to set this aside for now because I'm done with that. Um, and I really like this stamp set. 
Um, it also has the dies that go with it. I'll show you. It has all these dies on the inside, which are beautiful. Um, adding it to, you know, give you some dimension and things on your cards. This is a, a simple one, but this, just because of the design of the stamps, it just makes it um, amazing to me anyway. So, all right, so I'm going to set this crumb cake aside. So we're going to do some stamping here. So the color choices I have is I have uh, Mary Merlot. Let's see if I can stay in the screen here. And Mary Merlot, Old Olive, Cinnamon Cider, and Bumblebee are the colors that I've chosen. Okay, so I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out with the Cinnamon Cider with um, one of the images. And the, here's the fun part. When, excuse me, when you um, stamp with these, uh, I'm gonna come up here close. I don't know if you can tell, but it almost looks like you don't have enough ink on there, but you do. It's the way that the stamp is cut, it gives you um, that look, but there's ink in there, okay? So the first one I'm gonna use is gonna go Let's see, I think we're going to kind of go like this. Look at that. It's just beautiful. So real looking. Okay, so there's my cinnamon cider. Close that up for a second. The next one I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to use some old olive. And how come I don't have, oh, I, I could, that's right, because I took it off and I needed it. <laughs> okay, so Old Olive. Um, just going to come down here a little bit. Then I'm going to use it again, I think, over here, up a little higher with that one. Oh, it's so, you guys, this is just... Because of the, um, the dis, you know, the distinctive, it's just amazing to me. So crazy. Then the, um, the bumblebee will be this guy. And then I'm going to do the Mary Merlot on the end with the long. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Mary Merlot. It's Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler is what I decided to go with. Okay. And then that one will come right up here. Oh, my gosh. It's so awesome. All right. There we are. That's the, the colors that I, I have used. Cherry Cobbler, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Old Olive. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to use this there's a speckle piece that's in that set and I'm just going to add the speckles to my page okay seems like I need another one right there there we are I need another one down here I'm gonna right there I need some right there. Perfect. I know it's busy because you because it's on this and you can't see it quite yet, but wait till you see it. So um, I'm gonna bring this up so you can see it. Look at that. It's just so beautiful in my opinion. But anyway, there you are. Um, now I'm ready to layer this onto the crumb cake. And this goes all the way from side to side, just like that. And this is going, oh good, I'm glad you like it. This is just going to go here. Um, I'm trying to see if I should... Bring it down a little bit. There we go. Want it a little closer to my uh, saying. Here we are. Oh my gosh. 
That's so pretty, you guys. What do you think? All right, so um, I am going to actually put that up here and then I'm gonna stamp on my envelope. Okay, so um, let me turn this over and see what I got going on, okay. I should have done, I should have done this when I had my, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you like it. Good, good, good. Like, I'm glad that you like the colors together. I was thinking of fall colors, you know, so you could have it kind of like a fall card. Um, so I'm just going to stamp the green leaf and then turn this over. Stamp that there, just like that. And then come back to my little speckles. Well, before I do that, I need to I'm gonna, I need to stamp one on the front. We're gonna use that green old olive. Come on, there we go. <laughs> All right, so on the front, I'm going to um, stamp it once. I'm gonna stamp it off again. And one more time, give it a little interest there in the on the front. Okay. There you are. Let me move this out of the way. Let's see if it's in the, yeah, there we go. So this is the back, the flap, there's the front, and then here's the card so that you can write on the inside. Um, I know what I wanted to do. I'm going to add some more speckles on the envelope. That's what I wanted to do. Look at that. Just adds that little extra. Beautiful. I really like this card, you guys. Okay. So, I had mentioned that um, I had another class that I've been working on. I want to show you those because I thought they would be better so you could see them here um, this way better instead of uh, backwards. <laughs> so I just want to get these out of the way so that I don't get anything on them. Let me put this over here. Okay. All right, so there's your envelope and there's your card. Let me put those out before I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the three cards that we did here. Yeah. I don't know if they're all three in there or not. I'm gonna stand up so I can see. All right, I'm gonna come this way so that you can see. There we go. There's the the three cards. I just didn't pull any envelopes to to do anything on these. Like. We'll do the little leaves, I think, on there, um, and maybe flowers on this one or something. But there's the three cards for tonight. But I do want to show you my uh, the Christmas card class. Love, love, love. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Yay. Um, so the next thing I want to share are a couple things. Um, I have the cards for the, I think I had shared these before, but um, here's one of the cards that we're going to be doing. Here's another, this one's gorgeous. This one is fun. This is one of the cards that we're gonna be doing uh, Saturday. This pulls out, slides back in there. And then this one here, and uh, this one a little bit, uh, it, I didn't make a new one, but it'll be like this. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a slimline card. And then we will be doing, um, let's see, two more. That's six cards. I've got two more. I just don't have them completed yet. So that's for Saturday. So if you want to RSVP, make sure to do that um, today. I need that before I, uh, when I get up in the morning, whoever's RSVP, that's, that's what I, I, that's all I can do. So 
um, there's that. The other thing is I have um, a couple other classes I mentioned. One of them is going to be um, the sharing the card kit, um, Joy of Sharing. And this is a complete card kit in the catalog, but you're going to get two more um, projects. And so this will be one that you'll be able to, to do. Um, and I don't have the other one complete. I, I Like I said, I have so much to do. Um, but anyway, you're going to get all of this stuff to make um, your um, cards. Um, and, uh, you know, it, of course, you, this shows, sorry, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't, this shows that you can do photos, but this shows without the photos. Um, there is also, let me see here, what else is in here? Let me show you. You get a, you get a block comes right in. It's a complete kit. So everybody will have their own kit. Oh, here's what I want to show you. See the sparkles? These are little dots and they, they're, that's what you're going to use instead of gems. You're going to use these little dots, um, on your, your, uh, cards. And then again, you're going to have two extra, um, cards that I'm going to create, um, that you can use with this. So there's that, the joy of sharing. That one is, um, Get, look at my notes here. Where are you? Um, Joy of Sharing, October 16th. Um, anyway, go to Stamp with Barb, and they're all listed under the events. Okay. And then um, on the 24th, we will be doing um, another Christmas card class because it's it's going to be here before we know it. Um, you will, it's $35, eight cards with envelopes. Um, it's a, you'll get a half a pack of designer paper, bolt of ribbon and embellishment, uh, and the color tutorial. Um, and we're going to be using this set for unto us. This is the set that we'll be using and you can add that to your, um, to your fee for $21, no shipping or tax on that. Um, but, but this will be for October 24th. Um, and then which one? Okay. And then I still, I don't have the date yet, but let me show you this one. Let me grab the, uh, stamp set. It is called tree angle. Okay. I saw this in the catalog at first. I wasn't really sure, but oh my goodness. I love this. You guys, it's so beautiful. Wait till you see the samples I've come up with so far. All right. So here's one of them and can you see the foil paper and then there's embossing. Here is another using the foil paper and the red rhinestones. Here's another. And then here we have a slimline card and then you also have a piece on the inside where you can put a gift card because our glue dots work perfect for gift cards in our little things here. So hopefully you um, like those, but that will be a class. I don't have the date yet. It'll be coming up pretty quickly, probably the first week in November. Well, no, not, not the first week in November. I've got the on stages that weekend. So, um, but anyway, uh, that class you can add the stamp set for $17. So it's $35 for that class, which is which basically is product. Mainly product is what you get for the class. And then you um, just add on the stamp set for $17, okay? Um, and don't forget about World Card Making Day. I'll be on several times throughout the day. Um, and uh, that'll just be doing some stamping. I will have like a basic and then a step up and then a wow card at the end. So uh, if you go and check that out, um, all right. So what I have, um, I got to spin the wheel. We, I don't want to forget about that. And uh, let me get that here. And the person that, um, the person that wins um, will actually um, get a package of cards. Um, they will get a like a package of cards in the mail that, um, all kinds, you're going to get all kinds and it's all going to be current things that are current. Um, so that will be, uh, the winner for today.
So let me see if I can get you out of here without making a craziness. <laughs> hey, okay. So what we do is anybody that commented on uh, last week, um, I'm looking at my screen to at the different names. I think I got everybody. Anybody that commented um, will um, be on the list for the drawing. The other thing is um, I forgot to mention that if you purchase $50 this month with um, the host code, um, you go into a drawing for a free stamp set. And um, let me see if I can grab it really quick here. Go uh, for a spin while I reach around. Oh my goodness. <sighs> but it is the a Merry Hello and it is a hostess set. Um, so it's you have to you have to get it as a hostess. You can't just buy the set, but it's so darn cute. Mm -hmm. So all right. What I'm going to do is turn you around to the um, computer and we are going to spin the wheel. There we go. All right. So I am going to go ahead and spin the wheel and see who our winner is. Looks like Lynn, you're the winner. Very good. So, with that, ladies, that's our night. Um, actually, I finished a little before 8. That's kind of, usually I'm a little after 8. I really do appreciate each one of you being here. And um, I hope that you will keep joining me, share the video, um, if you have any ideas that you want me to share, I'd love to hear what you have to say and see what I can do for you. Um, see what I can come up with and teach and share. I've got some techniques in mind, um, Christmas with the Christmas and all coming, but um, I have a couple fun things I think I have uh, with the Christmas stuff, with the papers and uh, designer paper and um, the Christmas sets. So, well, it's been fun. You guys have a good night, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.